All right. Just a quick video, just because on my previous video about the open parties and claims, there's some questions that I wanted to answer real fast. Um, so first of all, the item tag stuff. Um, I don't remember if there's a setting you have to do, but if you look, well, this is so to make sure that you're still able to open certain items in somebody's claim if you want to come if you open up the game and turn on the id tags if you have to i don't remember if it's something that's on by default i don't think it is i don't remember how to turn it on or off but you want to look for like where it says like waste stones for as an example with this mod and then the mossy waste stone things like that or waste stones waste stone then once you get that tag we can do is you go over to your server files, which I'm using Crafty to host mine, but the file explorer should be relatively the same. So you're gonna come down, go to your world folder, then the server config, then you're gonna go to the open parties and claims server file here. For me, it's gonna open down here in the bottom, and then what you're going to want to do is find like the protection and then find something that you your users aren't going to change or they're going to leave access to so like something like doors this is what i put mine under so ex block percent percent protection exceptions for doors underneath here and then you can see there's doors, gates, gates, I don't know, a oh, forge, and artifacts, okay. And then there's waste stones, waste stones. And then you kind of format it like this with the a pound sign or hashtag, and then colon for the mod file. And then that makes it so that it thinks it's a door, pretty much. And then... Trying to remember, I believe this is also where you go to disable it. No. Oh. So if you go to the default player config after you make that change, make sure you save it as well, of course. Come down here. And then if you go down to door. So by default, I have it set up to all players or entities are allowed to access doors. So everybody will be able to access the Aren't they're able to access doors and then I believe there's a way to disable it but I don't remember it exactly off the top of my head because I just basically enabled the waystones called it good and then left but there should be a way as well to change it Let's see what's one buttons I think are one that I allowed them to do Okay, so yeah, so if you find it's on line 17 and mine, variable, like the configuration options, so these are what they're able to configure. So I believe this is where you can find, like, what they're able to configure, and then you can just delete one so you know make it so they're not able to do it. I think this is the right spot I could be wrong <laughs> I'm just trying to yeah a list of the options of the player that an individual player can reconfigure yeah so yeah you just delete this and then that way you're able to go that way you're able to disable that access form so I guess just as a quick review, 
since that was kind of a lot. And so first you can go to the, so you go to files, world, your server config folder under the world, and then the open parties and claims server file, the .toml. And then you go in here and then you find whatever you're going to classify your modded, like your mods item ID for like a bow or whatever. I don't, I don't know really how to do with bows. I'm assuming it's the same if you find a bow and do the item ID, you can do it. Somebody was commenting about a ship not being able to access, but you find that. So for me, it was waystones, waystones, and then you find something you're not going to let your players change. For me, it was doors because I want to make sure that it's more difficult to trap people. And then that way, if somebody waystones into a base, they can always waystone back out as well. Um, so you add it as a door, so you find here where it's, and then you put it inside of these brackets. So mine, like I said, hashtag waystone, colon waystones. And then you go back up here, and then on the line 17, or where it says the player configurable, player config options, kind of a mouthful there. Then you find whatever you changed it to. So for mine, it was, it's a door, so this doesn't have the claim stop protection door option or whatever. But that's how you do it, from what I remember. I haven't really done it in a minute, so hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any other questions. And maybe I'll start doing mod reviews because it seems that at least the open party claims is fun. So hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, whatever flows your boat.